Filipino owned chocolate shop, which got a lot of backing from the community and has been for the community over the years. It has been voted as the top desserts in Long Beach, in the LBC. So let's go catch up with Romy and figure out why, how he became number one in a very quick amount of time. He's my homie. popping up for five years and so we incubated the concept for the first three and a half years and our shop is still a baby it's 18 months old but we've been working really hard to make sure we really hone in on our flavors and our creations I think a lot of it too is uh, what's happening in Long Beach is there's a lot of support for small businesses and artisans and so we're very thankful that the community has come in full force to support uh, chefs and artisans trying to share their craft This is my first time actually walking into the shop. It's like a beautiful museum of chocolatiness. And I just found out that they have like um, special beers as well. So this place is really cool. And let's go try some of the goodies. So I got the chocolate churro and I keep forgetting the other one. Coffee, uh, this is coffee style. This is the espresso truffle. And as you see, there's like. And so this is the churro. I love churros. I love chocolate. I haven't tried this one yet. Oh my god. The churro is a good now. It's an actual piece of churro inside. Winner. Might give me like a little to-go box of these later. Now if you got like a sweet tooth, you'll love this place. I am, I'm one of those sweet tooth kids, so. Sugar Rush! Plus they got like, you know like coffee beer? Sugar Rush chocolate and coffee beer? Oh yeah, we partying tonight in downtown Long Beach. And so it's a lot of long hours, but it's absolutely worth it because it creates community spaces like this.